go at roller relay. Now, um, Lottie's going to have the roller and I'm going to have the paintbrush. Now, if you're doing this at home, you could either do it with a brother or sister and take it in turns, or you could do it yourself and try one first and get somebody to time you, and then try the other and get somebody to time you again and see which works out best and see which is the best, more fun. What you will so, need for this game is a paint tray and a paint roller, like one of these, and we're using some water in there, and I've got a paintbrush. So Lottie's going to be using the roller, and I'm going to be using the paintbrush, and we'll see who can paint the patio quickest. Now we're both going to do five squares and see who's the fastest. I think I know who's going to win. <laughs> Are you ready? On your marks, get set, go! This is going to take you a day, Lottie. This is just going to take me a few minutes. <laughs> You've done two already. I think That's my roller. So usually you use for painting like walls and stuff because well, it's definitely fast as well. Now you could do this on a patio or you could paint a little bit of the wall outside. We're not using paint by the way. Not with real paint but with water. You can try that see if that works. Yeah, it's a lot better to dispose of. And it just, just basically... Or you could do a bit of a path. I haven't even done a whole square yet. I, I could just... I've got Lottie's done three. I could do it at, at water speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to paint a little picture. Going to store it after. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you one little bit of help. Bye! Yay, I just you. destroyed your picture. Oh. Oh, it's not really going to help you much. I think we can. How many have you done? You've done four, you're nearly there. Last one. Now you can make me leave my And I've done one, and that was because you gave me a bit of help. Uh, to end it, I think I have to run back and then put it back. Have you finished? I need to run back. Oh. Right, well, wow. wow. hopefully you can see Lottie's done her five squares. She is officially the winner. So for us, the roller was much faster than the paintbrush. It really depends on the size. If you had had a bigger paintbrush, it might have been a bit yeah, quicker. Yeah, if you had a huge paintbrush that's about but the size of the But I still think itself. if you've got a lot of a, a large area to have a paint to paint, it's probably quicker to use the roller, isn't it? Anyway, give her a crack. Well done, Lottie. <laughs> Now it's time to have a look at what you rainbows have been up to this week and uh, we've got some lovely things to show you. So firstly Zara has made a, a lovely pen pot for her dad and she used some washi tape and some stickers so here's a picture of that. I hope you love it. It looks great. Well done Zara. And Emily's been busy too. Uh, she made a super card for her dad and she also made a pen pot uh, using some washi tape and her little brother James has made one too so um, here's a picture of those um, wow they look fantastic well done guys okay so hopefully you had a good time last week send us pictures of anything you've been doing today's activity is called stop that leak okay and um, we're going to learn how to fix the leak in a small inflatable toy or uh, something like that I've got an inflatable guitar. Uh, if you haven't got a small inflatable toy with a leak in, um, ask a parent uh, to help. Then uh, either if it's a toy you don't mind spoiling, you can make a little hole like I did in this one with a pin or uh, a plastic bag, a resealable plastic bag works really well. So I'm, first of all, it's important to remember that we're learning to fix something which is a toy 
we wouldn't do this if it was uh, something going in the water like an armband or a rubber ring because those things are to help you swim and to float and this, this activity is only for toys. Uh, if it's something that's important to help you float then you probably need to buy a new one if it's going to harm. So it's got a tiny hole in but I can't see the hole. I don't know where it is. So how do we fix it? We're going to need some other stuff. I've got a bowl of water here, a tea towel, some sandpaper. If you can, if you've got it, that's good. Don't worry if you don't. And we're going to need some strong tape. This is duct tape, which is which is quite um, really really sticky and really strong. Right before we start, we're going to play a little game. So I've got some sticky notes here with different words on. So hopefully you can see them. That says stick. This one says mark, this one says hiss, bubble and sand. So these are the five things we're going to have to do to mend the toy. So first of all, have a little think to decide which order you think we're going to do these things in. So which one comes first? See if you got it right. So the first thing is hiss. So we're gonna first of all we're gonna listen for a hiss in the toy. The second one is bubble. So we're gonna put the toy in the bowl of water and gonna see if we can spot a bubble coming out. The third one is mark. So when we've found the hole, we need to make a little mark to show where it is so we don't lose it. The fourth one is sand. So once we know where the hole is, we're going to just sandpaper the toy very gently to try and uh, roughen up the surface so that the, the tape sticks really well. And the last one is stick, and that's sticking on the tape. What we haven't got there is dry. Um, we do need to dry the toy before we stick, otherwise the tape won't, drink, won't stick. So here we go. I'm going to start with hiss. Now I'm having a listen. I think my hole must be very small because I can't hear anything. Okay, so now I'm going to try putting it in the water, which is bubble. Okay, so here we go. I'm putting it under the water. I'm going to look. I might have to squeeze the toy a bit to see if I can see any air bubbles. Can you see any yet? I can't yet. Let's try the other side, see if it's on the other side. Where are you, air bubble? I just saw a bubble there. Oh, hang on, there it is. Can you see? There's some air bubbles. I'm having to squeeze the toy because the hole's quite small. Can you see them coming out? There they are. So there's our hole. Right, so I'm going to put a little mark. Let's try that again, make sure I've got it in the right place, right on the end of my thumb. I'm going to put a little mark with a pen or a crayon where, where the hole is. Let me check if I've got that in the right place. Yep, there it is. Okay, so right. So we've done his bubble mark move that out of the way. Now we're going to sandpaper in the right area. I'm just going to give the toy a bit of a dry off to make sure that it's not too wet. Okay so I've got a little tiny bit of sandpaper here so I'm going to give it a rub with the sandpaper. Okay, that should be enough. Now I'm going to make sure the toy is really dry, not forgetting where it is, that little hole. Okay. And now we need a piece of tape. I don't need a big one, I'm just going to cut a little piece off and get it in the right place. There we 
go. Right, so let's stick it in the place where the mark was. My mark's disappeared. I think a crayon would have been better. Stick that down. And there you go. Make sure it's stuck really well. I'm just going to trim that corner off because it's kind of hanging off the edge. Okay, so hopefully next time I want to use this, it won't go down because it hasn't got a little hole in it anymore. Okay, so let me know how you get on with your mending. Now we just have one other thing that you might want to do this week. So um, it's a printable uh, picture of some tools. So um, if, you've, if you want to print that out and colour it in, and it says at the top, um, here's some tools to print, to colour and cut out. Can you name them? So um, a bit of a challenge. Maybe you might need help from a grown-up, but see how many of them you know the name of. And also, if you wanted to, you could maybe make a toolbox to put them in once you've cut them out. So um, hopefully you can have a go at that this week. Music